The chair recognizes the gentlelady from Georgia, Ms. McBeth. Thank you, um, Mr. Chair, and thank you also, Ranking Member Sheila Jackson-Lee, and thank you for our witnesses today and for all of you that are witnesses that have suffered these horrific tragedies, uh, and you continue to be inflicted with this trauma every single day. I am so, so very sorry. Uh, I sit before you to today as a mother who has suffered uh, as a victim of gun violence. I'm here because of an epidemic that has unequivocally and completely just plagued our country, plagued our country for just too long. I've dedicated my time while I have been here in Congress to reducing gun violence and advocating for common sense gun laws to keep our neighborhoods, to keep our families safe, to keep you safe. Regardless of the city that you call home or the person representing you in public office, one fact remains true. We need comprehensive, common sense gun laws to end the violence that threatens the American people. As members of Cong Congress, we are tasked with making a genuine difference in this country and taking steps to reduce violence by enacting federal gun laws that keep our families and our children safe. This committee alone has numerous bills that will reduce violent crimes in DC and across our country once they are implemented. We made a historic step in the right direction last Congress with the passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which invests $750 million into extreme risk protection orders to improve crisis intervention and empower our law enforcement and loved ones. And it also invests $250 million in community-based violence intervention programs to support our communities that are crying out for our help. The successful passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act is a testament to our ability to unify in Congress and continue to fulfill our promise to fight for the safety of every American. These are our communities, our children, our loved ones, and gun violence should be a deep personal concern for each and every one of us here today, including all of my colleagues in this committee. And following this hearing, I would urge that all my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to turn their concerns about violence into action. Continue the fight against gun violence with me and join on my Federal Extremist Protection Order Act of 2023 so that we can link our actions into words. Empower loved ones. Those who seek the warning signs of being in crisis first and law enforcement, help them to help keep guns away from those who are in danger or at risk to themselves or hurting others. What truly matters is not which side of the aisle that we all fall on, but the countless lives that are lost in this country to unnecessary gun violence every single day. No mother, no parent, no American should ever experience the pain of losing a loved one. We must work together to end the epidemic of gun violence. Now, investments are being made by the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act that are aimed at prevention. Deputy Mayor Appiah and Mr. Apt, as we look forward to ways to reduce violent crime across the country, how will a federal bill to authorize federal extreme risk protection orders contribute to reducing violent crimes across our country. Thank you for the question. Uh, I think if you look at uh, the research that's been assembled by the RAND uh, Institute, there's good research showing that extreme risk protection orders can save lives. Uh, they can particularly save lives in terms of avoiding homicides, and there's some evidence that they can uh, avoid homicide, uh, homicides as well. So I think that uh, those laws and the support uh, of, uh, that, uh, that Congress uh, made for those laws in terms of enacting them in the best ways is a very strong step forward. I would say the same. Same thing as Mr. Apt. Um, the district actually currently, um, I am co-chairing with our, our DC Council a, a working group on how we can better um, utilize resources around extreme risk protection orders to keep district residents more safe. Well, thank you so much. I know that I have crisscrossed this country fighting to change our dangerous gun laws. 
And I know that there are many in this room that have also worked as activists on the ground in the movement to do the same. No one in this country deserves ever to be affected by this violent culture that we're living in. And I promise you that my colleagues and I will do whatever we can to keep you safe. The gentlelady's time has expired.